What is astigmatism? Am I nearsighted or am I farsighted? Oh no, I have astigmatism? Are these some of the questions you have during your eye exam and your eye doctor tells you what your prescription is? If you do have any questions on your prescription and you're wondering what some of these terms are, please keep watching. So first of all, what is astigmatism? It sounds scarier than it actually is. Astigmatism is just another type of a prescription that us eye doctors use for when we have to correct someone's vision. So if someone has astigmatism, it pretty much means that either the shape of the front of the eye or the lens in the back of the eye has a little bit of a curve to it. And because of the curve, when light travels into our eyes, it sometimes hits that little area that's curved and spreads it in a different direction, which can make things look either off-centered or blurry, or maybe you might even get shadows behind letters or words or objects. Because of that, what we do as a prescription for astigmatism is that we add in a little extra prescription right in that area to where the curve of the eye is, and then that helps to focus light straight instead of off at an angle. That way you don't get these shadows behind images and things will look nice and centered and clear. Another way that doctors like to explain astigmatism is that your eye is shaped more like a football versus a basketball. And thumbs up if you've heard this explanation before, but I don't like using this term as often just because it makes it seem the actual eyeball is shaped like a football. And eyeballs don't have that shape. All eyeballs are round or a little bit elongated version of round. Usually the astigmatism occurs on the front surface of the eyes only or within the eye itself in the lens. So there's nothing wrong with you if you have astigmatism. I have a decent amount of it. My office manager, Penny, has a lot of it and we're all doing fine. So there's nothing wrong with you. If you have astigmatism, you will not go blind. Okay, well, am I nearsighted or am I farsighted? The terms nearsighted and farsighted are actually terms that are positive. So nearsighted means that you can see near. So you can see things that are closer better than you can see things far away. And farsighted means that you can see far better than you can see things up close. And there are little differences within these two categories of prescriptions. The technical term, by the way, for nearsightedness is myopia. And the technical term for farsightedness is hyperopia. For being nearsighted, you can see things very well close up. But if you take your glasses off or if you just happen to look far away without glasses or contacts, you will notice that things are blurrier when you look out there versus up close. That's what nearsightedness means. Farsightedness can be a little bit trickier. So farsightedness typically means you can see things well further away, but you can also see things well up close, up to a certain age. So typically for far-sighted eyes, when they turn 40, that's when the eyes start to need reading glasses. And at this point, the need for reading glasses is called presbyopia. Usually presbyopia happens earlier for far-sighted eyes than for near-sighted eyes. So for those of you near-sighted eyes out there, congratulations. You have a much longer ways to go when it comes to reading glasses. You might not even need reading glasses because then you can just take off your distance glasses to read. But for those of you who are far-sighted, do expect a little shift in your vision starting around the 40s when you will need something to read with. And this typically starts with reading glasses. Usually farsighted eyes like to go into over-the-counter glasses first because that's the easiest thing to do. Just reach for an over-the-counter pair, put them on, use them to read. I do want to caution against doing this if you have a decent difference between your eyes in terms of the vision or if you have astigmatism because these over-the-counter glasses do not correct for anything like that. All they do is make things larger. So they're just literally magnifying. They're not correcting your vision. A side note on over-the-counter glasses, 
The material in those lenses are very cheaply made. They're almost like the magnifying materials that you would see in child's toys when you had those little magnifying glasses you look at bugs with when you're a little kid. That's the exact same material that these reading glasses are made of over the counter. So keep that in mind. If you are doing a decent amount of reading or computer work and you know that you have a lot of demand for your eyes, you have to look at little numbers numbers and letters, please invest in a good pair of prescription reading glasses or computer glasses because this will really help prevent your eyes from straining and causing headaches and maybe even further issues with your vision down the line. So it's worth investing in a prescription pair. But let's say if you really just need these glasses over the counter just to look at a menu or see a price tag here and there, they're perfectly fine to use for those occasions. Now most people have a combination of these three types or even four types of prescriptions. They might have astigmatism, be nearsighted, be farsighted, and have presbyopia all at the same time. And you might be wondering how this is the case. It's because we have two eyes and usually our eyes are not the same. So some people can have one nearsighted eye with astigmatism, some people can have one farsighted eye with no astigmatism but have a need for reading glasses, and it could be a combination of all of those things. So because there is a lot of combinations that can happen with a prescription, that's why we call it the glasses prescription. And you do really want to have a doctor take a look at this because optometrists in specific are trained to refract the vision of people's eyes. We are trained in physics and optics to a higher level than even ophthalmologists and definitely more than technicians. So please make sure if you do really want to get your prescription correct and down to the very point, have an optometrist take a look and be able to really fine tune your prescription. So I hope this video was helpful and let me know if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll read through all of them. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.